is not a video about the reviewing of Apple products, but you will learn why apples will fall down into the ground. This will eventually discover by Sir Isaac Newton. Since then, he proposed the law of universal gravitation. He stated that gravitational force is not only exists between the apple and the earth, but it exists between any of the two bodies in our universe. So it means even you and your crush that are standing apart, both of you will experience the same amount of gravitational force. This might explain why you are fall into your crush. And this gravitational force will be affected by two factors. The first one is the mass of the objects. The second one is the distance between the two objects. So if I want to write down the mathematical relationships, it can be the gravitational force is directly proportional to the mass of the objects. But we want to times the mass of the objects together. And he also tells us that the gravitational force is inversely proportional to the distance between the two objects. But it must be very careful that the distance between the two objects are measured in between their center of the body. Mean it must be from center to center. So this basically tells us that the heavier the object, the stronger the gravitational force. And the further apart the two objects, the weaker the gravitational force. So these two are the relationship that proposed by Isaac Newton and we can use it to form our equations or the formula that has the formula of F equals to M1 times M2 over R square and we have the constant of G. G is our gravitational constant which has the value of 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 Newton meter square per kg square. So you can imagine now, if you want to find G, we will times both sides by R square. So I will have F times R square equals to G M1 M2. And now, if you want to find G, I will divide both sides by M1 and M2. Then, we know force is calculated by using Newton. Distance is in meter, but we have square here. Mass is in kg. So the gravitational constant will have the units of Newton meter square per kg square. If I were to bring up the kg square, then I will have Newton meter square kg power of negative 2. So this explains how we get the units of like this. So in short, whenever we have two bodies, let's say this is you as the mass of M1, and this is your crush as the mass of M2, and both of you are separated apart by R meters, then you will experience a gravitational force is due to the existence of your crush. And your crush will experience exactly the same force is due to the existence of you. So let's have the example of the apple tree where the apple is fall onto the ground. We can imagine that now we have an apple that has the mass of 200 grams and we will use the green sphere to represent our massive earth that has the mass of 5.97 times 10 to the power of 24 kg and they are separated by 6.37 million meters. This is eventually the measurement of the radius of our Earth. Why we use the radius of the Earth is, you can imagine, we assume our Earth is a perfect sphere and the tree is on the Earth. So the distance between the center of the Earth until the tree is eventually the radius of our Earth. But why we don't take account the height of the tree is because the height of the tree maybe is about 20 meter. But when we compare 20 meter 
with 6.37 million meter, 20 meter seem to be very insignificant. So this is why most of the time, when we say about the object on the earth, we will just take the distance of radius of the earth. So now we can use the formula that we have learned to calculate the gravitational force that exists between the apple and the earth. So trust me, press the calculator by yourself so that your muscle memory can get used to those kind of calculations. We know G is the gravitational constant, M is the mass of the apple, the M2 is the mass of the earth, and the R is the distance between the apple and the earth. But you must be very careful that the distance here, you must square it, which is the common mistake where the student forget to square the distance. So once you press everything in your calculator, you're supposed to have the force of 1.96 Newton. It means the apple will experience the gravitational force of 1.96 Newton and the earth will also experience the same amount of force due to the existence of apple. If I want to find what is the acceleration of the apple towards the earth, then we can use the formula of F equal to ma which is according to the Newton's second law of motion, where force is 1.96, our mass of the apple is 0.2 kg. And if I divide both sides by 0.2, I will get my A is 9.8 meter per second square. It means our apple is actually accelerated by 9.8 meter per second square towards the earth. And now, we are wondering whether the earth is accelerated towards the apple. But we know our earth impossible accelerate towards the apple. But now we're going to use calculation to prove it. So we use the Newton's second law, F equals to MA. But due to the earth has a massive mass, this is why the acceleration going to be extremely small. It literally equals to zero. So this explains why earth is not accelerated towards the apple. And now we want to explain why there are two persons that are standing close to each other but they are not attracted to each other at all. Is it because of the boy is not handsome enough or the girl is not pretty enough? Let us find out together. So we know there must be a force exists in between these two persons. We're going to calculate by G is the gravitational constant, M1 is the mass of the boy, M2 is the mass of the girl, and the distance is eventually 2 meter apart. So try to press the calculator by yourself and you have the force of approximately 5 times 10 to the power of negative 8 Newton. As you can see, this force is so tiny, it's so small that you will feel nothing, but it still exists between the two persons. So we can say the gravitational force is too small as compared to the person weight. As we know, even to find the weight, W is equal to mg. So we have the mass is 60 and the gravitational acceleration is 9.81. So you are roughly about 600 Newton. So in fact, the weight of the boy is roughly 12 billion times the gravitational force. This is why it won't accelerate towards the girl and the weight of the girl also 10 billion times stronger than the gravitational force. But what happens if the guy is now standing on the surface of the earth? Why the earth is not attracted towards the person. So we know the earth has a massive mass of 5.97 times 10 to the power of 24 kg. And since the boy is on the surface, so they are separated with the distance of radius of the earth. We can use the same formula to calculate the gravitational force by substituting M1, 60 kg of the boy, M2 is the mass of the earth. And the distance is going to be the radius of the earth. So trust me, press the calculator by yourself and you will get 
588.81 Newton. So it means the boy will experience 588.81 Newton of gravitational force, but at the same time, the Earth will also experience the same amount of force. But according to the Newton's second law of motion, F equals to ma, if we divide both sides by m, we can find the acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. So if you want to find the acceleration for the boy towards the earth by substituting the force with 588.81 and the mass is 60 kg, then you will see the boy is eventually accelerated towards the earth with the acceleration of 9.81. But in the other hand, the acceleration of the Earth towards the boy would be approximately zero because, because of the massive mass of the Earth. Hey, if you want to join my online tuition class, please drop me a message on Telegram. Or if you want to support us so that we can make more videos like this, the simplest way is just to share the video with your friends. Hit the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.